Hey, how's it going today? And today we're just doing a basic light wave tutorial. This is for beginners and maybe for others that need a refresher. But the question came up the other day, how do you load multiple objects into layout? And you know, I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, I didn't know the answer right away. I started looking into it and uh, I don't know. It was just one of those things was like, that seems like such a basic question that I would know the answer to. And then uh, I had to do some research myself. But anyway, here we are in Modeler and there's this bar right here. And I see it all the time. It's like you live in a city and you drive down the same street every day and there's this building off to the side and you never really noticed it. And then one day you look at it and go, hey, I never knew there was a donut shop there or something. That's kind of how I feel about Lightwave is that I see it almost every day and there's things I pass by and I don't really pay attention to. My first question was, what is the name of this thing? What is, what is the name of this thing? So <laughs> it's not called thing, I don't think. So of course I went to the manual. It is called, it's here, here it is, 04. And it is just called current object. And honestly, I don't think that's the best name for it. I mean, yes, when you're on it, that is the current object that you're on, but really it should be called more like object selection layer or something. That's really what it should be called. But anyway, it's called current object. So, but personally, I would call it the object selection layer and I'll explain why. So now let's say I want to load multiple objects. How would I do that? Well, I'm going to come in here to load and I'm going to go load object. What's interesting here is it doesn't say there's no section to like load multiple object. It doesn't say load objects. It just says load object. So you just get in the habit of like thinking an object at a time but you load multiple objects. So the one thing I was gonna show you was one of the objects that I'm loading today are from these this pack and it's called, it's really interesting. I was reading this from Meshweaver. I was gonna joke that somebody made a song called uh, Meshweaver, but it, that's Dreamweaver. <laughs> But this is fascinating to me, the history of all this, the origin of Griebel and Nerny, and it's just really, really interesting. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. You start out with something like this, you'll see these intricate models and you'll think, oh my God, somebody went in there and, you know, modeled all that stuff. And you realize, well, no, they didn't. They started with something like that. And then they just, can I say Griebeled? <laughs> Griebled the hell out of it. And then it made it look like it probably took them all day and they, it probably took them just a couple hours just to copy and paste all this stuff in there. So anyway, this is what I'm going to be using to the objects that I'm going to be importing. And let's just take a hatch one, a hatch two. So I'm hitting control on the keyboard and I'm multi-selecting these objects to come in. So I'm going to go open. And here's where I can see a beginner could get really confused because you just saw me select four objects, but I come in here to layout and you'll see, look, there's only one thing in Modeler. What happened to the other ones? Well, you come to current object, which really is the misnomer, I think. I would say object selection layer, let's say. And there they all are right here. So you can see there's the first object, the second object, the third object, and the fourth object. Now here's another thing that's confusing is I'd say, okay, oh, I see, yeah, there they are. Okay, fantastic. So so what I'll do is I'll send them to layout, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, let's send them to layout. Send object to layout. Where are they? Well, just that one object came in, right? So then the question is, well, what what the heck's going on? You know, so then you go back into model and you're like, well, what do I got to do? Go e send each one? Let's see. Can I send that object to layout? Yes, I can. I got to send them all at one time. Well, you could do that. Or if we go back into Modeler, you could also do this. You could go in here, select this one, go Control C, and go back into the object selection layer. Hit on the second layer here, hit Control V. And so what I'm saying is you could go in and select each object. I'm hitting Control C, go back here on the first object layer, hit Control V and then go back here on like the fourth object, hit control C, go back to the first object and on that layer, hit control V. So basically what I did is I copied and pasted all the objects onto one layer on this first object where this first object resides. So if I go back into this like second object, you'll see there's nothing on any of the other layers within this object, right? Let's say I just switch back in here to layout and let me just clear the scene now. And then I'll switch back into Modeler. If I go to this first layer or first object, if I go send objects, it's the, and it's funny because it says send object to layout, but I'm really what I'm doing is I'm sending objects to layout. 
So I send objects to layout. All four objects are now been brought in. So if I look down here, I can see them all. Of course, they're all right on top of each other. So if I start scooting things apart, there they all are, right? So this is just to show you that you can absolutely import multiple objects into Modeler and then send them over to layout. It's just that each object has its own layer and on those layers you can add multiple objects into that layer so it's a little confusing in the beginning getting your mind around it i just wanted to explain that how you can bring in multiple objects into modeler and then send them over to layout so i hope this helped take care have a great day and i'll talk to you next time